Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today we are doing a What Santa Brought Us for Christmas and by us, I really just mean Ella. Let me put a little disclaimer real quick. I am super frumpy today. I have not been dressing up very much unless I have like someone somewhere very specific to go. Um, I haven't really felt good this pregnancy. Ella's pregnancy I thought at the time was hard. This one has been just making me feel like a sack of potatoes and I am so ready to just have this baby. I just feel big which everybody's like you're not big but like I feel huge. huge. <laughs> I feel huge and you can't take that away from me. No, it's just, it's, I, I don't fit in anything so I don't feel like dressing up because I keep stretching out all my nice clothes so like I haven't been wearing what I actually want to wear. Like look at me, today I'm in a cardigan and a t-shirt and sweatpants again for like the hundredth time but like it doesn't really matter. I'm growing a human being so like I'm not, I'm trying not to care too much about what I look like. To be honest, if I wasn't filming my Instagram and TikTok tutorials, I wouldn't have my makeup done either. This hand is driving me bonkers, by the way, because I tanned, but like I forgot to get around my ring, so this part is super white. That is just a whole nother thing. <laughs> but I have a lot to show you guys today, so we're gonna go through everything, show you what Santa brought her. Like I said, there wasn't really anything that she specifically asked for today. There were a couple of toys that she saw like some of her friends have in school that she asked for. My door was moving for a minute and I forgot that I let my cat in and I straight up thought I was just gonna get kidnapped by a warlock. I've been playing too much World of Warcraft. Um, <laughs> there wasn't anything specific. She's just super creative at the moment. Like I could give this girl just a stack of computer paper and she would be busy for hours just drawing and painting. So with that in mind, when we created our Santa's list, um, you know, again, there were a couple of toys, but most of it is like kind of crafty items. I don't even know where to begin. There is so much on the floor next to me. So I'm just going to start with the fragile pieces. Now, I do like to let Ella know that some gifts do come from mom and dad as well for Christmas. I personally believe that if, you know, uh, this is this is a personal opinion but I do believe I know arrow there's so much stuff my cat is trying to get over here and doesn't know how um I personally believe that if I buy something like super sentimental for her or like an expensive gift that should come from mom and dad um because not every kid is gonna get the same sort of you, you need a help honey not every kid is gonna get like an ipad for christmas you know um and TJ and I agree that one once a year we get her like a big gift. Um, so if we don't get her one for her birthday in August, we'll get her a big gift for Christmas. So like a big gifts or sentimental gifts come from mom and dad. Um, this year it happened to be we got her her trampoline. If you were with me in the summertime, you might remember that being in a vlog or something. Um, we got her a trampoline, so that was like her big gift for the year. These two came from mom and dad, and these are not big gifts, but... My daughter and I, every time we go to the mall, um, we stop in Lush. It's just kind of like our little thing. A lot of the times they'll let her like put a bath bomb in the water at Lush and see how it works. And I've been doing this with her for years, <laughs> for many years. So like going to Lush is kind of like a mummy and daughter kind of thing. Like we just like going, we like playing with the products and we like checking out the bath bombs. So these two came from mom and dad, but I also showed this in a vlog, so you might have seen it, but we did get her um, a bath bomb, two bath bombs. One is this Santa, like two in one thing. I think they had a penguin as well. They might've had an elf, but it's like a two in one bath bomb. So I thought it was perfect because she could use it more than once but the head kind of sits here. It doesn't kind of sit here, it does sit here. <laughs> um, but it's super cute, it's really big, and you know, like I have my own bath bombs as well, um, but I've explained that I don't want her using 
the bath bombs that smell like sexy or sophisticated considering my daughter is five so we i buy different bath bombs for the both of us like oh my gosh <laughs> i get her more of like the citrusy scents the like sweet smells and for myself i save the stuff that smells like victoria's secret you know <laughs> so both of these have very like sweet or citrusy smells so the other one i got is called not so secret santa and i thought this one would be fun because you're supposed to put it in the bath and then like help Santa escape so it kind of has like a little fun flair to it I don't know I know she'll really appreciate it oh it smells so good though and I apologize I've been stuffy I think this entire vlog miss but I can't seem to get rid of the mucus <laughs> like I feel okay besides like my back killing me and my other pregnancy problems and like I'm dying but like besides that I've been feeling fine um, I'm just like super congested all the time all right so I'm just gonna start pulling out stuff she does have a stocking of course that we go through so some of the items were a little bit smaller so I'm just gonna show you some of the um, she pretty much got a lot of blind bags. So this is a pick me pop surprise. Uh, honestly, I'm not even quite sure what's in all of this. This just said a scented shimmer puff inside. Hi, Arrow. He's on my bed. On oh, <laughs> you can kind of, hi, Annie. <laughs> you can kind of see him. <laughs> um, and then we have this one, which is a, I did see like an advertisement for these. This, this is called like Bloom or something, I don't know, I think they kind of come out of the flower pots. It was something like this when I was a little, and I think they were like cupcakes or something. Like they came out of cupcake containers, I don't know, but they have some um, hair gold. <laughs> oh, look at that, we have uh, two of those bloom containers. The same thing, just two of them. And then we have, <laughs> this is the Rainbow Butterfly Unicorn kitty my daughter is super into unicorns and has loved cats since day one she did have one of these before this is the rainbow butterfly unicorn kitty nine lives surprise so it's kind of like a mini version of what i just showed you like same brand i think um but it like sort of pops open so it's like a little surprise container then we have an lol scented bath bombs she always goes through them and this one in particular has a surprise inside and it is strawberry scented we got a couple of these little disney princess blind bags as well i don't know obviously none of these are opened yet i don't know if it has like a little this is from series two oh, okay it does it's gonna have like a little prince or a princess on the side of the box and i believe we have three of these so we don't always have the best of luck opening blind bags. We get a lot of repeats, but I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping that we'll get more. Um, oh, we got two, two series two, two series two, and one series three. So at least two of these should be different. So hopefully we'll have some luck when we actually open them. And then we have this unicorn dust bath bomb crumbles um, bath time fizz i don't know i'm not sure exactly if it's like gonna be like kind of like pop rocks it says pop fizz and pop add unicorn dust to your bath and prepare for an amazing experience hear them pop and snap feel them tingle and fizz and foam in your tub bath time will be now something to get excited about so it says if a drop a few of these into your bath and prepare for an amazing experience so i'm assuming you get like quite a few uses out of this because it, it genuinely uh well it's like full up to there, <laughs> but that's still a lot. So we'll definitely be able to get a couple bath times out of that. And then we also have a bath time, bath slime, bath slime. <laughs> that's all it's called is bath slime. I don't know why I made that so difficult, but this is a cherry berry scented soap. All right, I'll show you this next just because it's quite big and bulky, um, but it's a unicorn dress up set. Oh my gosh, I can't even fit it in the, in the screen, <laughs> but it comes with a dress, um, a unicorn wand, a headband, and I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, shoes too. Um, my daughter was always really, really, really into dress up, um, so I wanted to 
not have her outgrow that. Like, she's been in school, obviously, so, like, I don't let her wear her princess dresses to school. Um, and it's been winter, so, like, even on the weekends, we have a hard time, because, like, on the weekends, we'll usually go to, like, a play place where she wants to wear something comfortable so she can, like, run and jump and climb and jungle gym kind of stuff. So she doesn't really have the opportunity to dress up the way that she she used to, but, like, I want to still encourage that so we put this on her christmas list and santa claus pulled through it's just i don't know something about it like i i love seeing my daughter dress up and express herself and this video is going to be so long if i just don't stop talking okay we also got a giant um a disney princess coloring book you see moana mulan and Belle on the front and then on the other side see moana again jasmine ariel so it's just a giant coloring book and like i said she's been so into just coloring and painting and like anything that involves scissors and glue sticks she's down for this was pretty cool this is called a hair chalk studio i don't know how well it's actually gonna end up working but it looks like you just kind of get stencils and then like pens in the back i'm almost debating on doing like a video trying this out with her like, testing it out with her and seeing how it actually works the good thing is her hair is very very light it's that, like that light strawberry blonde so it should be able to like very similar to this girl's um maybe even a little lighter so it should show up fairly well but we'll see how it actually works and it also looks like it has a tattoo applicator as well so one of these days she's gonna be going into school <laughs> looking like these girls and that's perfectly fine with me we're pulling out again some of the more creative stuff so she's always been in a play-doh in my house we cannot have enough play-doh i think this play-doh yeah it's like spotted or it's called confetti play-doh looks like there's like maybe six colors in here i think maybe like these little stencils are hiding in this side of the box but it just shows a bunch of examples of animals you can make and stuff so but like I said, she's she's always a loved Play-Doh, so we can't get enough of that. And then we got this big bead set, which I thought was so awesome. We recorded a like princess necklace making a while ago, probably right after her birthday, I think, actually. And we had so much fun just sitting there and making necklaces together. So now she has a big like variety pack as well as some craft lace. So she can make a bunch of necklaces. She can make a bunch of necklaces, bracelets, whatever she wants. And there's a ton in here. So oh, you know what's funny? I think this is like the same kind of... I'm old. <laughs> I don't know if anybody remembers what GIMP was. But this was like the ish in camp. <laughs> when I, I went to a couple summer camps. Because that's like... Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I used to make all these kinds of different, like, friendship bracelets using these. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, I, like, want to touch one. I'm not going to open one yet, but that's so funny. Like, I even the texture would bring back memories of that. Then she got a big old box of markers because for some reason we eat marker caps in this house and we can never find them and they dry out. So she got a big old variety pack of all different colors that will hopefully last more than a month. But we'll see. It might not make it to 2020, but we'll see. <laughs> oh, and then she has another blind bag in here. This is an Unbox a Magical Unicorn. I believe we found something similar to this um, at the five dollar store i think we did a little unboxing on a vlog one time she wasn't too happy with the unicorn that she got so i'm hoping that she'll be happier with this one. Oh, this is just a bag of yeah what goes on the bottom of that bag i forgot she threw up on me <laughs> not that long ago and i stuck them in a bag and that's what that is so i'm gonna use my shoe to stick that into the laundry okay gross <laughs> next we have some more play-doh this isn't technically like play-doh brand but it comes with softy doughs um but i thought this was super cute it has like a little oven so she can make some food and stuff um and again any anything creative it comes with a little pan so she can make some breakfast and stuff i'm sure she's gonna want to make me breakfast one of these mornings after we crack this open she's also getting into like colored pencils as of recently so she got this big old 
container of all different colored pencils and stuff. Um, she's, I think she's kind of learning, like, I think she uses them in school a lot. So, um, this is like her first box of colored pencils to keep at home. We got a big old container of clear slime, which I thought would be really cool because we could always add like in our own glitter and stuff and kind of make it our own. So I like the fact that it is completely clear and there's a ton of it. There's like 20, there's 24 floral ounces in here, which that that's a big old container of slime. She also got a little Elsa and Anna like coloring book almost. Well, it's, not, it's more like a sketch pad because it has a whole bunch of blank pages and as I said we go through computer paper like water so I figured it would be really awesome for her to have her own little um, like book to keep her drawings in comes with some more coloring pencils I'm assuming a pencil sharpener maybe an eraser or like a sticker of some sort it looks like an eraser um, but I still love this movie Ooh, we're matching today Ella has always been obsessed with erasers. I don't know why. <laughs> they are super cute, but Santa brought us a little frozen eraser set so you can see all the characters in there. This bag is slowly falling over. Anna, Elsa, the ice horse, Ven, the castle, leaf, which represents Gale, a crystal, a snowflake. 15 erasers inside. And then it's just a couple more little stocking stuffers. Her and I both love Tootsie Rolls, so she has a little bag of big Tootsie Rolls in here. And then she also got some little ornaments to add to our tree, which are Anna and Elsa. I don't think it wants to focus. So we got some kinetic sand. I don't think she's ever tried this before, but again, kind of that creative thing. Um, I think it does come with a little tray for kind of like a mess-free playtime. It looks like it comes with like a little, like those little sand, I don't know what they're called. It comes with a shovel, like a little castle maker. I don't know, we've never, like I said, we've never played with kinetic sand. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, it's magical flowing sand. I can imagine that I'm hoping for a, a mess-free <laughs> playtime, but I have a feeling that's not what I'm gonna get. She got a new set of crib, uh, crib sheets, hello, of taller bed sheets. She actually, uh, she has a twin, so just a twin bed, which is really nice because she's had the same ones for a while now, so it's starting to get a little dingy and we need to replace them anyway, so Santa came through. This was one of the, ooh, it just ripped it off. One of the toys that she specifically asked for. These are Scruffa Loves. This girl watches too much YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> she must have seen this in a video or something. Um, but I don't know. I guess you rescue a family. You wash them. Twins or rare triplets. Uh, you groom them. I don't know. You'll get a cat or a dog. Please, Lord, give her a cat. Is it a baby boy or a girl? I don't know. She's going to have to show me how this works. Santa doesn't normally get her a ton of um, clothes, but we got a couple this year. So we got a little nightgown, which is super cute. It has the princesses on the front. We love nightgowns. They're super duper easy. And then we got a little sweatshirt too, which always come in handy for the fall and winter time and honestly even in the springtime um, but this was cute it has a rainbow and like instead of clouds it has the cats <laughs> and then she got a little set so this is a this is a matching set and it has little golden unicorns this is like the sweatpants part of the set and then she got a little sweatshirt as well um, same design, same color, the gold unicorns and snowflakes and stuff. Another thing that Ella really enjoys besides like crafty kind of things is games. She wants to play with somebody. She always wants to play with somebody, whether it's me, my husband, or like whenever we go out someplace, like she's always looking for a friend. She doesn't really like to sit there and play by herself. She will, but that's kind of like a new thing. She's always wanted to play with somebody. So one of her favorite things to do has always been board games. So we got Lucky Duck, which I felt like we had one year, but maybe not. I think it was somebody else's. I think maybe my niece or my nephew got it for Christmas when we were there and we're unboxing presents um, but this is a super simple game but it's a lot of fun um, so it just it's really easy the ducks go around in a circle you have like a specific color you need to look for and match um, to your side it's it's you could play a thousand 
rounds of this um but i figured it's it's really really simple and something fun for us to do when we're home or on a rainy crappy day or you know whatever we get snowed in so that that'll be a lot of fun and my son my son which Oh my gosh, that's so weird to say. <laughs> my son will be old enough to play that in like a couple years too. It's really not a complicated game. My daughter also loves the song. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> but it's Into the Unknown. The neighborhood dogs are probably gonna start barking. <laughs> Um, no, it's just a little wand. Again, I just want to, I want her to, like, feed into that, like, dress up, like, not grow up too fast kind of thing. Um, so this is just a, it's called a Sister Snow Scepter. <laughs> um, but it just plays a song into the unknown, which she is obsessed with, and then it has, like, an Anna and Elsa little plastic snow globe at the top. And then Santa must know how much we love slime getting everywhere because she got a neon bright pink slime. So she has a clear one and now she has a pink one as well, which this one seems, oh, okay. I was gonna say a little more watery, but not really. Next she got, she's not really into Barbies. Like she has Barbies, she has played with them, but like I've never seen her actually sit down and play with like Barbie dolls, baby dolls. Like she'll play with them for like an hour and kind of be over them. So we didn't ask Santa for like Barbies, but we got, uh, he got her a Barbie Dreamtopia unicorn and I think this one also how fancy so she can obviously brush her hair she comes with a little hairbrush she glows I think she'll really enjoy this and then we got some more play-doh <laughs> but this is the baby shark set um it comes with, oh it comes with 12 play-dohs you know obviously with the shark stencils so that like we can make our own baby sharks together super duper cute i think it comes with some like coral reefs over here i don't know something that we could probably do together but <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> I'm, so, I'm noticing that there's like really a grandpa and a grandma shark with like details and the dad shark is is Pink. Um, yeah, more, more Play-Doh. Like I said, not enough, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is really cute. She got a little pair of slippers, but they have, they're like unicorns. I don't know if they're, yeah, they just look like unicorns, but like the little horns actually like stick up. They're really adorable. Even though like we can keep our house warm, my floors always tend to be a little bit cool. So I always have her in like socks or slippers of some sort. And we're always losing them too for some reason. And then we got this, which I have seen on previews or commercials before. And I don't know how I feel about it, <laughs> but it's a booty shaking llama. <laughs> why? Like why? I don't understand. I don't... If my daughter starts dancing like this, I'm gonna sue pets alive. <laughs> I don't even need to explain this toy anymore. Oh, some more slime because we <laughs> didn't have enough. Thanks, Santa. We have uh, some Nickelodeon slime. This is fun scented. It looks like there is like some like almost what would look like I don't know sprinkles or something inside. So. I mean, why not? And then Santa did drop off a little pair of undies. I'm not gonna show those on camera. I always feel like that's a little uh, uh, personal, so I don't, I don't like showing that kind of stuff on camera, so I'm not going to. <laughs> some more little crafty stuff from our stocking stuffer. So she got some like glitter glue, so she got a green, a silver, some Elmer's glue sticks, gold and blue glitter glue as well, uh, and we have some little eyeballs which lord knows what's gonna have eyeballs in my house now <laughs> guys we're nearing the end i promise at some point we're gonna near the end <laughs> now this when we open this this brought back some nostalgia let me tell you who else had a light bright growing up as a kid i loved this thing now for those for those of you who are born after 2000, uh, we had a thing. I don't even know. I don't know when this went out of style. All I know, I was born in 93. This was like 
the coolest thing. We didn't have internet the way you guys do. So this was really, really cool. And I'm hoping that she'll like it just as much. If not, you know, I will. This was so cool. This is like a little kind of stand up light easel. It's like really small though. Um, you can kind of see it standing up here. And then you have these little clear pieces and you stick it into the light and like it lights up and it's just so cool. <laughs> So cool. Okay, maybe this is my present. All right, I think this is the last three items, you guys. She got a little, she has been super into foxes. She was a fox this past Halloween. So we got these little um, fox plushy slippers, but they're kind of like high. I don't know if you can see the tag here, but they kind of come up a little high. This is from the little blue house brand. I don't know, they seem really fluffy and super comfortable. And then Hunter, Hunter got a little fox plushie for um, my baby shower and Ella was obsessed with it. And I felt bad because I didn't really want her messing with it right away because I wanted Hunter to have like a brand new stuffed animal. She was really sick at the time too. So I made sure that we asked Santa for her own little... <laughs> Our own little fox plushie. He's a little smaller than Hunter's, but Ella really likes small little things, and I think she's going to really, really, really enjoy him. So I don't know if he has a name like a Beanie Baby would. He's not a Beanie Baby, and he's actually very, very soft. To be honest, I thought he'd be maybe a little bit bigger when we asked Santa, but no big deal. Uh, it's just called a red fox, so... Oh, but he's so cute. <laughs> and then our last piece is a, I don't even know what this is. We had gone into Orbeez not too long ago. Um, and she really liked this. So this is for five plus. This is called an Orbeez Super Sweet Shop. I'm not really sure. It comes with 15 accessories, eight recipes, sweets you will create with Orbeez. I don't know. It kind of looks like hopefully it comes with Orbeez but it kind of looks like you put them in here and then it crushes them down in here and you can kind of make I don't know <laughs> but it seems like another little fun thing to make and maybe we'll make a video on this too we'll see she loves making videos so any opportunity I find that I can include my daughter like outside of the vlogs I really try to take that opportunity because it's, it's like a bonding thing as well that is it though. Thank you, Mr. Santa Claus. We are forever grateful with what we are able to get for our children on um, Christmas. Make it super magical and super special. And I can't wait uh, to crack into a lot of these items. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I cannot believe this year is over. Next year we are expecting a baby. And I am just, I'm ready. But at the same time, you know what I mean? Are you ever really ready? Not really. So <laughs> thank you guys again for watching. I have a lot to clean up here, so I am going to get on that. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss any new videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.